What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Go get a snack. Get something to drink. Gonna have a conversation on this one. So I just did a video, right? And I like that fun. You know, take a look at this image here. To me, you have to look at the optics sometimes of a situation, right? She's running down the beach. The attire is flowing. She has a superhero-esque look to her. I'm sure the arch nemesis of Catwoman based on what she did to her cats. So take it, throw it in an image, have a laugh, but not a laugh for the wrong reasons, right? Not degrading someone for a laugh. So with that in mind, if you look at the granular aspect of it, you can easily see, you know, a 39-year-old woman that struggles to run 20, 30 feet. Right? That's a much different perspective of here's someone that kind of you can make look like a superhero if you put beside him a superhero. So I've always tried to, to kind of walk the fine line of I never want to degrade her. I never want to insult her, but I want to have fun and talk about it at the same time. So with that being said, I think we all know what happened. Me as a creator, you as a viewer, you know when someone's dragging a video out intentionally to get to a certain point so they can embed more ads. To quote Seinfeld, you know, a show about nothing, that would be something, right? Chantal just took a whole bunch of nothing content, right? A whole bunch of B-roll footage that even by her own admission could not fit into anything. Not the videos that they were supposed to go with. And she thought she could just cram them all together and turn it into something that will generate income for her. I'm sorry, but that's lazy. That's insulting to other creators, and it's definitely insulting to the viewer. Now, we go from that with this promise of content to the most recent video on her channel. Now, I will offer to you, I have been told in the past, there are groups of people that watch her content specifically for this. But the reality is, this actual type of content we haven't seen for a while. And since we've seen that, Chantal has done a lot of things, you know, through Natter, through the cases, through the travel, through the cats, all of these things, right, that have really helped push away her core audience. I would offer that perhaps there's no one left from watching the makeup tutorials. Perhaps there's not many people left from watching some of the mukbangs. So to see them kind of sprinkled back in all of a sudden, I find strange. But this one, I found the most strange. And again, this comes on the heels of the one where she was kind of laying down in the restaurant. She was kind of shoveling the food in. A lot of reaction channels spoke about it. She felt some type of way. She ends up deleting the video. And then, obviously, here we are today doing this yet again. And the problem that I have isn't that this is the content that she wants to make. It's the content that she's making all of a sudden. And certainly what the reaction to this is going to be from the reaction channels. Right? I will sit here and I'll show you some still images. And I'll try to be about as even keel as I can. Because to be honest with you, this was pretty difficult to watch. This isn't someone enjoying a meal. Let's be honest with ourselves. This is someone almost forcing themselves to eat so that they can film it. And I think there's no better way to see that than the time frame of 16 minutes that passes and how much food is eaten. Right? You're not eating food to enjoy it within that 16 minutes. If you want another way to define it, the fact that there's utensils sitting there the entire time, but they don't get touched until the 11 minute mark. Are you sitting down and respecting this food? Are you respecting, in many ways, the gift of food, given that we're in Ramadan? Or are you merely overindulging? Are you merely showing glutton? You have to ask yourself those questions more specifically in the fact that she should be honoring many of these ideologies during Ramadan. The fact that she has to address people will be concerned about Salah eating when there's this amount of food there. And I say that respectfully, because to go back to my original point, she's a 39-year-old woman. 
she can sit down on a camera and eat whatever she wants. But she has to be mindful of what she creates. And the reality is, when she takes her dignity and exchanges it for dollars in the form of a YouTube video, when you sit here and you see still images of her eating this way, who is that designed to engage with? I don't believe it's her audience. I don't believe it's people that have watched her. I don't believe it's people that are watching her couple's channel because we certainly don't see her eating that way in public. So you have to ask, you know, who is this for? Why are we doing this? What are we doing with our channel? The fact that she continually comes out every so often and does this. And then I can tell you what's going to happen. There's going to be people that make content that is far more harsh than this. She is going to lash out at them. There are going to be other channels that clip together the most... I'm trying to think of the word. Graphic parts of her eating this meal. They're going to make it into a compilation. And to be honest, there's probably just as many people that are going to watch all of that content combined, then we'll watch her actual video. To some people, all they'll see is Piggy's compilation. To some people, all they'll see is my reaction. You, you watch the other person through the lens of another creator. And then Chantal is going to get mad. She's going to feel that this is not fair to her. She's going to feel that people are unjustly criticizing her. She's going to start to throw around the words like shame and banned and things like shouldn't be allowed on this platform. And then she's going to understand that people make more money with her content than she makes with her own. And through all of this, she's never once looked in the mirror and asked herself, what role do I play in all of this? How do I make these people view me in the content that I create. Because you can't have it both ways. You can't have a gym vlog 14 days ago and eat like this today. You can't tell us that you're changing as a person. You can't tell us that you respect your culture and turn around and do this. You're not even respecting your audience today with the vlog that you put out. And then you show us, to no surprise, you don't respect yourself based on the way you're viewed in this video. And then you're going to get mad at others for not respecting you when you didn't respect yourself to begin with. Chantal, I know you're going to watch this because you still watch all of the content. So let me ask you, without this video tonight, Without us sitting there and watch you eat half a meal without a utensil, how does your channel change next week? How does your channel change next month? How does your channel change 90 days from now? The reality is it probably doesn't. I understand all too well the stress of looking at numbers on YouTube and seeing monetization drop off. I understand the fear of can I get my audience back? I understand the uncertainty of will people still enjoy my content? All too well. I get it. I truly can speak in a position where I understand what that means. I can also tell you the work that goes into trying to get people back to your content. Trying to re-engage with an audience. Hoping that things do turn around if you just continue focusing on what you want to do and going down the best path for you regardless of what anyone else says, does, or wants to show. And Chantal, you're just not doing that. And that's okay if you want to sit there and reflect at everyone else. But for the people that do watch you, for the fans that you do have, don't create content that's going to get them caught in the crosshairs of everything. Because I will firmly believe that no one wanted this video but you. The shock value of this video is what you wanted. The fallout from this video, you don't want. We've seen that. You'll delete videos. You'll criticize others. 
you'll push back against everyone, but you had every opportunity to sit there, take as long as you wanted, use every utensil you had, eat like a civilized person respecting a meal. You chose not to. And now you will deal with the ramifications of that. The same way everyone else in this community deals with ramifications. The question is, will you be able to realize what you're doing, move forward, and try to create better content that will ultimately get you the income that you want? I personally, at some point, hope you will. Because if not, if you haven't seen, some channels just stop caring. They stop talking about you. It's no longer interesting. We know the routine. We know what's going to happen. But, again, you're in a beautiful place. You're supposed to be as happy as you've ever been. You have all the time, the resources, the money that you have, according to you, that this lucrative fragrance business seller owns, to create stunning and spectacular content. I know that there are creators that would love to have the opportunity you do. There are creators that work more than one job to be able to create the content they want to create. And ultimately, Chantel, I think at the end of this, you're not just going to look back and see what you've done to yourself. I think you're going to look at all the opportunities you missed along the way. And perhaps the biggest regret you will have is not taking better advantage of the opportunities you could have made for yourself. And instead, you sat there and filmed yourself like this. Love to know your guys' thoughts on this. Appreciate you sitting through a longer video. You know I will be back as soon as I can with more content.